are are there any problems you guys sit around together and say, listen, these three problems no one can solve. Human man, human cannot solve. Do you guys think about certain problems that there's no way we can solve? Uh, well, we would. I would typically put problems into two separate piles. Okay. Over here, you got technical problems that technologies might help with, and over here, you got problems between people or groups of people, and that's out of my jurisdiction. Okay. So I can't, I don't have any optimism about being able to solve problems with human decision-making. They, they seem to be unsolvable to me. Interesting. Yeah. And I think it's actually, it's important to think that way. Like, you know, a lot of the problems that we have are created by humans. They're created by humans' decisions and by their lifestyles and their, and their patterns and, and, um, and their politics and this kind of stuff. And, and so no technology is going to solve that. So um, I don't work on those. Okay. So we got technical, we got uh, people group or yeah. groups of people decision making. Let's just say that's political, yeah. you know, opinions, pro-life, pro-choice. Mm -hmm. We don't deal with that. But on the technical right. side, is there anything you look at where you say, I just don't know how we can solve that one problem. Anything on that, like bio warfare. I don't know if we can control a buy or a cyber attack or i don't know how we can solve it you know so is there anything that for you guys is the impossible you know there's there if you take that pile you can sort of break it down into uh problems that require a miracle and problems that do not require a miracle got it so in my lifetime you know we've had uh we've needed a miracle in energy storage Okay. Right? That's why wind and solar are problematic because, you know, we need a way to store that energy that's efficient. We don't really have that. And we would love it. And people keep coming up with ideas and trying to make batteries better and stuff. Yeah. But, but to really make a difference, we need a miraculous discovery in energy storage. Um, another one has been uh, quantum computing. You know, we fantasized about these amazing quantum computers. People are making a little bit of progress here and there. Um, I think a lot of it's overstated. We're still a long ways from having a quantum computer, from understanding how it would work and what we would do with it. So we need a miracle or two um, in that. Uh, another big one is cold fusion. The way fusion reactors work is they make energy the way the sun makes energy. And there's extraordinary power available that's, that would be clean and cheap and free almost, but we've needed a miraculous breakthrough in cold fusion in order to be able to do that here on earth. Um, and that's and that's something that, you know, you can often uh, spot these as, you know, things that are just 20 years from now. <laughs> if somebody says it's just 20 years from now, that means, well, they're hoping to get a breakthrough in the next 20 years, but the breakthroughs like that don't, don't happen on a schedule. Interestingly with fusion, I think we might've just got there. By miracle, by, by miracle or by no miracle required? Actually by, um, by figuring out how to take the technologies we have and and do it with them and so I, for the first time in my life i so i've been convinced that i think that fusion might be imminent and that would be amazing for us because solving energy is the most important problem ever if you solve energy you kind of solve every other technical problem for free not all of them but a lot of them you because if you have cheap clean abundant energy Things like recycling could work, um, you know, things like uh, cleaning, you know, we could desalinate water, we could make water, you could solve water. Um, if you had energy, you could solve sanitation, like a lot of things like that, that were held back by. And, if, and, the, and the way to think about this is the truth is the reason Americans are rich is because we have access to energy that's reliable and cheap, right? That's really the main difference between America and every other country on earth. Right. Americans, on average, get about nine times as much energy as the median human on Earth. Right. We, so much more energy is invested in us. And that just me, that's why we are rich. And so, you know, we like to think we're rich because we're, you know, smart geniuses. And so that's not it. It's we're just using a lot of energy. <laughs> and so the goal should be to give everybody on Earth as much energy as we give an American. And we're not we're not getting close to that. We're not getting close burning coal. We're definitely not getting there with wind and solar yet. Um, and so we need to build nuclear reactors and we need some breakthroughs.